Hey YouTube, this is Super Zemison. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. Alright, I finished that grinding. Oh, by the way, I have my cursor out, but yeah, I didn't get everything I wanted to. Not as good as I wanted to be. Yeah, see, the skill levels didn't go up that high. Sorry, but I did work on my magic, and that's good. At this point, there's only going to be three reasons why I grind. That's for MP, a little bit behind, a new party member. Those are the only reasons I'd grind. But anyway, I went back to Altair and healed up. Let me show you how to get there. We're in Diced right there. I Just so you know how to get back so I don't have to do backtracking, by the way. So anyway, we go up, and we end up going to the bottom of the map, going through the canal, and if we go over here, we make it to Altair. And then back that way, we just go through that canal, down, and back to Dice. Easy as that. I'm just showing you that so you can, um, you are going to be able to backtrack to Altair, and I, you won't need my help for that. Just so you know, viewers. Yeah. Oh, just uh, to get the world map, you use B Select. But anyway, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, by the way, from the money for the grinding, you also want to buy, max out your potions, antidotes, eye drops, and high potions. From the money you accumulated from grinding. Anyway, let's go get that pennant so we can talk to the wyvern viewers. If we just go all the way up here, we'll make it to... See that cave right there? We make it to Dice Cavern, probably one of my most hated, if not my most hated, dungeon in the game. It's really hard. This is why! Hill Gigases! You will... This is a common battle. Two Hill Gigases. What you want to do is switch your wing sword out with your Sleep Blade. Okay? Then you want to attack the hill with, uh, one of the hill Gigas with it, and it should make it fall asleep, thankfully. These will be a common enemy, and they're really hard. Ow! Yeah, look how much they damage you! The hill Gigas are just... This is the reason why the hill Gigas are common enemies in this dungeon. Anyway, you also want to knock out... Well, make both of them fall asleep. Okay, they both, um woke up, so we want to make them fall asleep again, but if they were to be both asleep, we just switch the sleep blade out with the, um, where is it, the wing sword right there, but I, that's how you do it, so I'm gonna beat up these losers, and I will meet you at the end of the battle, so I'll be right back. Wow, those hill gigasins really pack a punch. Anyway, we get a little more gil. Oh, that wing sword is just abusive, I tell ya. Anyway, if we go down here, we come across, across the remains of a dragoon. But we find in it the pennant. Now we can go talk to that wyvern. That'll be nice. So, I'm gonna meet you back at Dice Castle. It's an easy way out, so I'll meet you there and I'll be right back. Alright, we made it back here at Dice, viewers. And with that pennant, why don't we go check on that wyvern now? Let's see what's happening. Uh, but first off, let's talk to these guys again. Oh, a life spring is hatchery. All right, let's keep that in mind for just a few minutes, viewers. Just a few minutes. Yeah, come on. It can't be that bad. Come on, you're still alive. Huh, well, I guess he's looking like a dying man. Or wyvern. Oh, Ricard, huh? And he was looking for the ultimate magic as well. Interesting, interesting. So maybe we'll find him on the way, or, you know, maybe Minwu finds him on the way. An egg, okay, and submerge it in the life spring. Huh, interesting. Wither and die. Alright then, I guess that's what we gotta do now, viewers. Take that wyvern egg to the life spring in Diced Cavern. Life spring grotto? Nah, nah, that's the other game on this cartridge. Well, it looks like wyvern's about to die now. Well, why don't we fulfill his thing, and I'll meet you at Dice Cavern, so I'll be right back. Alrighty, we made back here at Dice Cavern, viewers, so this, uh, for the first, or uh, second trip, let's take the left staircase, viewers. Find some new enemies in here, too. So, let's just go this way. Oh, those hill gigases are a rough bunch, I tell ya. Anyway, if we go down here, we can open this chest down here to con that contains an ether. That's nice. I mean, always can use those. Oh, hey, and a new enemy, too, along with it. Revenants. These guys have a harsh physical attack. 240 HP, so watch out for these guys. They can get pretty abusive. So, they are also weak to fire and cure, just like every good undead enemy. 
thankfully I'm overpowered, so I can take care of them easily enough. Yeah, but watch out, if they attack you, they have a really harsh physical attack, I tell you. Harsh. Not as strong as a hill gigas, but still pretty bad. Anyway, let's go down here. We're just gonna keep going down and down, and it's it's gonna take a little bit, viewers. Down and down. Wish I had an elevator. Oh, and a new enemy, Yellow Souls. Like their cousins, the Red Soul, they can they cast Fire Five. They only have 20 HP, but these guys, it's not the fact that they're abusive, it's just the fact that their spell animations take forever. They can get annoying in that respect. Yeah, watch, well, it just keeps going and going. It just... And they'll keep spamming the move, too. I think that's the only thing they use, Fire 5, all the time. It's really harsh, I tell you. Not that it's, like, it hurts your AP, it's just really hurts your time, in my opinion. That's why I don't really care for them that much. Anyway, they go down easy enough, so no worries. Just like the Red Soul 2, don't cast magic, they'll absorb it. Alright, I still want that elevator, though. This goes on forever. It's not a really, really long dungeon, but long enough. Anyway, this is the last floor, I believe, with a new enemy, Ogre Chief. These guys... I feel the Ogre Mages are still worse, but they have more HP, about like as much as the Revenant, and a, a stronger physical attack. Not as strong as the Revenant, but we can take care of them easy enough. They go down relatively easy, but they do have a lot more HP, so watch out for them. I still feel the Ogre Mage is worse. Not that the Ogre race is that strong to begin with, it's just, you know, watch out. Never good to be unprepared. You always want to be prepared, viewers. Not that I don't they teach you that in Boy Scouts? I'm not a real big fan of Boy Scouts. I mean, I went a few times, but not that much. It never really interested me, viewers. It was more of the... I was more of the, um, musicals and music type of guy. Anyway, in this chest we get Knight's Armor, but we have to fight some Adamantoys to get it. At this point, they're not that strong anymore. Just cast Blizzard. Watch how strong Blizzard has gotten. <laughs> Be prepared, viewers. Yeah, they're not too strong anymore, especially with that Wing Sword, though, and this move. Blizzard level 6. <laughs> Over a thousand damage. It's so obscene, I tell you. Anyway, we should be able to take these guys out soon enough. Still have more, a lot of defense, but... Yeah, I thought I should just show this off. I'm usually gonna just show off the, um, monster in a box battles. Just, you know, changes up the pace so you guys can watch me battle. I mean, you guys watch me battle a lot anyway, but... You know, I like... You don't want to be just seeing me walk around and that's it. That'd be kind of boring, wouldn't it? Ooh, that Revenant gave me a beating there. That's okay. Saint Spirit, Sage's Wisdom, and a Flame Bow! <laughs> I love this. Let's equip that on... Well, first off, let's equip that Knight's Armor on Tyrion. Then hand me down Golden Armor to Guy. Then let's give the Flame Bow to uh, Maria there. Watch. Oh! Almost 30 increase there. It's insane. And I love that. It's just so abusive, I tell ya. But anyway, we can walk our way out, but teleporting's a lot faster. So why don't we just use that? And let's go back in for our final trip. Also, we probably want to heal up there. Oh, that's getting you beating. Alright. Uh, yep, that's good enough. Alright, let's go. This time, let's take the right staircase. Both literally and figuratively. Anyway, if we just go down here, this is a bigger room, viewer, so... We're gonna be doing a little exploring on this floor. Wow, with that flame bow, those hill gigases are a lot easier. That's always nice. I mean, you still have to put strategy into how you beat them. And we get some crappy armor. Yeah, the mithril, the mithril equipment's starting to get a little bit obsolete by now, viewers. Alright, before we get the last chest on this floor, let's fight some more hill gigas. Nah, nah, let's go down these stairs, because there's some treasure we want to get. Do not cross this bridge, viewers. Wanna know why? This is why. See that right there? If you walk right there, it will crash on you. It is not a sturdy bridge. Do not walk on that bridge. I repeat. 
do not walk. That is your final warning. If you must know where it leads, it leads back to the floor where you got the flame bow and the knight's armor. You do not want to walk all that way back. So just save yourself the trouble. I went through that mistake the first time I played the game, so don't worry. Oh, do I remember the first time I went through this dungeon. Not just that, but I just... It kicked my butt so hard. I think I died up to like six times before I, my brother finally taught me about save states. Anyway, in this chest, we fight green souls. What they do is absolutely nothing but cure you. Yes, viewers, they cure you. Cure level six on your team. That is all they do. And they only have a little HP, so it's a nice heal point if you don't kill them off before they can, so... I think that's the only place you can find them, too, so... Just so you know. And there we got a major Staff, by the way, and I'm never gonna use it. Yeah, I remember... When I met up with those green souls for the first time, I was so happy. Yeah, that was good times. I have memories. You know, I like looking back... Looking back on old video game memories. It, it's just nice experiences I remember having. Remember, don't step on that bridge, like I said. You can walk on those, but not... Not the big bridge. London Bridge? Eh, pretty much. Yeah, but anyway, back on video game memories. I have a lot of them. I, you know, I, I like going back. I mean, some of those memories really shaped me to who I am today. I don't get an acid file. I'm not really sure what that does entirely. But anyway, last floor, viewers. Why don't we just uh, go up this way? I can go through these doors, but before I go through them, I want to meet up with an enemy down here, so I'll find it and I'll be right back. It's kind of rare. Alrighty, found him. This guy actually took a while to find, but here he is, the Gigantoad. I don't really know any other place I can find him. I mean, I might be able to find him, but this guy has about 400 HP, and he can be a little tough. I mean, uh, now that I'm over... Uh, because I'm overpowered, he's not going to be that hard, but... Watch out for him. I mean, there we go. Got him in one round. Pretty good. Pretty good. Anyway, with that, let's go through door number three. And I'm not zonked. All the rest are zonks. Anyway, here we find Chimera After Egg. Hungry! Oh, ho, 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 I got lucky, viewers. You can fight up to four of these guys. The Chimera. This guy can cast Blaze 6, which is like a Fire 6 except more powerful, has a high physical attack. What we want to do, if normally I would switch to Sleep Blade if there were more of them, but only since there's only this one, I should be able to get him down within this round. I think he also absorbs fire, I know. Fire magic, not fire bow, but yep, got him. Yeah, you can fight up to four of those guys, which can be really tough. But now that we got that Chimera, okay, let's put in the Wyvern Man. See what happens. Will it hatch, it hatch instantly? Probably not. But we can at least hope. Yay! And we now, now we wait. So at this point, why don't I just cast teleport out of here? And should I show you the way? That, you know what? I'm just gonna. As I was saying, I'm just gonna go there on screen. It's a pretty short walk anyway, so why not? There it is, viewers. Diced Castle. Let's see what happened when we were gone. Let's tell the wyvern that we put the egg into the life spring. Uh. Oh. Well, that kind of sucks. Yeah, so they're not dead dead. Yay! We are all... So grateful, my tail. Well, with that, the wyvern's dead, but his offspring will hatch soon. But you think Hilda is uh, finally come to the, the conclusion that her father's dead and finally taking the pain? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy II. I'm gonna rest up at the inn in Altair, and I'll meet you at Altair. So this is Super Service, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.